Hello and welcome back. My name is Matthew McGregor and today we're going to be creating the app files for publishing your app on iPhone and Android. And that's really, really nice and easy because we've uh, kind of streamlined that process for you to make it uh, as simple as possible. So what you do to go ahead and publish your app is you come into any screen that you want and we're just using this Ace Results companion test app to screw around. <laughs> um, basically, you're gonna come into uh, edit on any screen and you're going to click publish. It doesn't matter what screen you're on, uh, all the screens will publish um, fantastically easily quickly. Um, uh, so just go into any screen and click publish. It's just like testing your app, it doesn't matter what screen you're on. Um, and this is the, the window that will appear. And what you want to do is a couple of things. The first thing is you want to go ahead and fill out your Expo account information. So you'll simply type your Expo uh, email and your Expo password right here. The second thing is you want to uh, type your Apple uh, account email and your Apple password right in here um, uh, as that's going to allow us to link your app to Apple Store Connect, which is where you're gonna be publishing your app in, uh, in the future videos. Um, this is really, really important though, uh, as you are generating these files for Apple and Android, is please read this and check this box. It says, I understand that Apple may send a two-factor authentication code during the app building process. I understand that this code expires within a few minutes and needs to be submitted to 22 apps as soon as possible. So just know that a code will pop up on your phone or Apple will text you and you need to type that code in right away. So if you are publishing an app on behalf of a client and you need their phone number or them to be present when submitting the app, make sure of that because uh, essentially um, it will slow down um, certain parts of the app building process and, um, and it's just really, uh, it, you need to make sure that you are submitting it quickly and easily um, as, uh, 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 as it comes up because there's a timer and it expires quickly. So you want to make sure that you get the client on the phone or that you have your phone readily available to enter the two-factor authentication code um, when it comes up. And just so we're all clear, two-factor authentication means they're going to text you a code and you're going to enter it right away. Um, so enter your Apple email and your Apple password and check this box to know you understand. Um, and you can read more about this here if you so choose to. So like you can read about what this all means and what it looks like. Um, and then the third thing is we're going to get our details that we need to submit our app to Google Play. And this is mainly what the third, what the next help article is based on. Um, but there are a few requirements that we need to go through in order to actually get to that point. So I'm going to be going through this whole help article in order to make sure that you've got all the pieces you need to publish your app. So. Um, important note one, don't skip ahead. Like I mentioned before, uh, please don't skip ahead in any of these videos. And important note number two is uh, you need to have uploaded your splash screen app I, app I, and app icon before publishing to Android and iOS, as well as you need to have named your app and set your home page. So that's nice and easy. I've actually created other videos on how to do this. Um, uh, though you can check out those videos below um, if you, or in this article, if you have not um, done that already. To give you the brief version, basically you'll find these help articles and I'll have added different videos to it on how to add your app icon, on how to create your splash screen, which is essentially the loading screen for your app. Um, how to create your, uh, how to update your app name as well as the fonts in your app, uh, and lastly, the um, uh, how to set your home page. Uh, so all that needs to be done prior to submitting your app. It's really important. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, so once that's done, we're again we're clicking publish and this will all pop up. It'll be like, oh, we, we need all this info, um, like I talked about. And this is where we're gonna get three key things. Um, so I mentioned already, make sure you enter Expo, make sure you enter your Apple developer details. And then the third thing is we're gonna get uh, the Google services key, 
which I'll show it over here. We need to get our Google services key, our Google services JSON file, and our Firebase server key. So let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, simply follow the instructions laid out right here, okay? And so the first thing we want to do under Google services key, because that's the first thing we want to do, uh, is get our Google services key, is click go open Google Play Console. And we want to go to the settings tab. And uh, in the next piece, it says we want to choose API access. So I'm going to go ahead and click that uh, Google Play Console. It's going to open this up. It's going to say, what developer account do I want? <laughs> You're going to click your developer account. Um, as long as your account is activated, this will appear nice and easily. Um, and then over on the left hand side, we want to choose API access. So we're going to go ahead and click on API access. And then the next thing that we want to do to get our, again, Google services key <laughs> is, uh, it says here, choose API access from the sidebar. And then it says, choose a project to link. So, um, here, it will not, it, sometimes it'll show that. And if you've already had things in your account, um, it may not be as clear, but you go ahead and simply click on create new service account right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click create new service account. And uh, it's going to open up. Um, you can see here, create new service account. It's going to open up this option where it says go to Google cloud platform. So um, basically, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and click on go to Google Cloud Platform. Um, so sometimes that middle step is optional. So sometimes you can skip this little choose a project to link, create new project because you may have a project already linked. Um, so don't worry about it sometimes. Again, create new service account and click uh, Google Cloud Platform. And so the next thing is that it will open up a menu that looks something like this, um, or it may also look something like this, where um, in either case, you want there to be some kind of label that says Google Play Developer Console. So I can see here that it says uh, service account for project Google Play Developer Console. And that's really, really important because that's how you know that you did things right <laughs> and you're in the right area because you're editing something on behalf of the Google Play Developer Console. If it says anything else or if you have anything else in there, um, go back and make sure you do it again. <laughs> um, but because it will say, uh, a service account for project Google Play Developer Console, or you may have to select one. If it says select a recent project, you'd click on that project. Um, so then the next piece that we want to do is, as it says here, we want to click create service account. So under this service account, we want to click create service account. And then it's going to ask for all this kind of info. So we just want to follow the help article and it'll say here, enter the name of uh, the service account in under yeah, the thing titled service account. <laughs> um, and uh, you, I, I, we usually suggest using the name of your app. So um, I'll just call it ACE results app or something like that. Um, and what we can do is we're just going to go ahead and click create and continue. And then it's going to ask for the role. So here you want to select something very specific, which is service account user. Okay. And so I'm just going to go ahead and type in the role here as service account user. And you can see here it pops up as service account user. We're just going to go ahead and click that. And then we're going to go ahead and click continue. <clears throat> And then the last thing is uh, you can just scroll. You can just skip this last step. You can click done. And then you will see a little checkbox to know that, hey, we did it. We accomplished this. So then there's just one last thing you want to do, which is um, when that's created, you want to go ahead and click these little three dots and click on manage keys. So you can see here, I just created this new thing for uh, the ACE results app. It might be blurred out in my thing, um, but just know that it's there. And we're gonna click on the right side and we're gonna click uh, again, manage keys. So once we're in manage keys, we want to add a key um, uh, and we're gonna click create new key. And we want it to be JSON. So we're just gonna go ahead and click create. <clears throat> 
And this is where you want to download this very, very important file. And you can just click Save As. And you'll notice the file uh, 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 type be PC API and then a long string of numbers. Okay? So PC API a long string of numbers dot JSON um, is your uh, Google services uh, key. <laughs> All right, so this is your Google services key that we have been working on uh, creating. So again, this is your Google services key. It ends, it starts with PC dash API dash, and then a long string of numbers. And then um, if we scroll on down, there's just one more step that we need to do for the Google services key. Um, and that is where we need to go back into the Google Play Console and grant API access. So we're gonna go back to the Google Play Console and you may need to click refresh, uh, refresh service accounts, and you'll see your service account appear here as long as you've done everything I've said so far. <laughs> um, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click grant access. So when you click grant access, as it says here, you, we just are going to click on admin all permissions. So just click on admin all permissions. You don't need to do anything else. And you can go ahead and click invite user. We click send invite and that's it. We're done. We've done everything we need to do in order to get the Google services key that we need to publish your 22 apps app. So with that, uh, I will see you in the next video on how to create your Google services JSON file. Um, and that'll be a much, much, much easier one, uh, I promise. And we'll get it done nice, easily and quickly. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.